In this video you will see how the AH2 is built and how it working. What you will see here it is the supply fan chamber and uh, the supply air duct. Obviously the supply fan chamber need a fan and a motor and you will fit into the supply fan a motor and the fan and then the fan will need a differential pressure switch that will be connected to a building management control and I will explain to you later on how all this uh, system works. Now after you build this you have to continue with your um, building and uh, you have to build the control box. So once you finish the control box you have to put the electric and electronic parts into it. First you're going to put the extractor fan inverter driver and then uh, after you fix the inverter driver you're going to fit the supply fan inverter driver these drivers are driving the motors and after you finish that you go on finally to put the building management control the contactors the relay and uh, other safety dev devices that are necessary to run the unit safe Finishing that one, you will join uh, the control box to the rest of the air handling unit. So now you have the supply fan chamber and the control box. Like any other AHU, you need to cool and to heat the air. So you will uh, design the cooling heat exchanger, the heating heat exchanger and the filters. They come all in a block. Finish it that one, you will uh, connect it to the AHU. So now your AHU is start to look more and more like an appropriate uh, air handling unit. Finish it that one, you need the dampers because you need to bring some fresh air to extract some air from the store. You need to circulate a quantity of air, not to lose too much energy in case the air is very cold or very hot and the nature doesn't help you. So you finish in that one, you will attach this system as well to the handling unit and uh, you will uh, continue the construction. Finally, after finishing this uh, system, you start to build your uh, extractor fan chamber and uh, to fit the extractor fan and the rest. So we have here the extractor fan chamber obviously the extractor fan chamber will have a fan and a motor that will uh, help the system to extract air from the store so what you will see here will be the fan and the motor that has been fit into this um, extractor fan uh, chamber once you finish this, uh, you have to install a very important uh, safety feature. I call it the smoke alarm. The smoke alarm has got a probe which senses if there is any smoke into the store. And uh, you will uh, stop and start some function. I'll explain to you about this one. Then this uh, fan, like uh, the supply fan, the extractor fan, need a differential pressure switch that will tell the BMS the status of the fan. I'll explain to you this. Now you have all the AHU section by section. The only thing you have to do is just uh, join them together. And here we go. You have your air handling unit already done. Once you have the air handling unit done, you have to put it somewhere, either way inside the building or on the roof. I choose to put the air handling unit on the roof somewhere. This air handling unit can work on the roof, it is well protected against rain, etc, etc. Now, just imagine the air handling unit uh, needs to cool and to heat the premises, so I'm going to build the pipes. Pipes will be connected to the chiller. Then I'm going to fit uh, the chiller because the chiller will cool the premises. As you will see here, we have a little actuator which will allow more or less for the cooling agent to go to this heat exchanger because the heat exchangers will uh, get cooler or less cooler as per uh, chiller's capacity and uh, the cooling agent. Then it is not enough. I have to build the piping for the boiler because sometimes the air have to be heated into the store. So the heating heat exchanger need a heating agent which is uh, provided by the boiler to be um, cap capable to heat the air. 
when we finish this system we have a full functional air handling unit the handling unit have some probes You've got the return air temperature probe the supply air temperature probe and we have the outdoor uh, temperature probe and also we have inside the store some probes which tell us the temperature inside the store so now the BMS control is activated it's 7 o'clock in the morning is the time to wake up so once you wake up the first thing to do it will start to check the dampers you will see so the damper will close and open 100% and it will send an input to the BMS telling the BMS we are okay I will explain to you how this is works in uh, other videos so what is important for you to know the building management control will enable the inverter driver so this inverter driver slowly slowly we start ramping up the fans the, the inverter drivers will ramp up the motors and the motors using belts will uh, will uh, control the fan through some pulleys so that's the only way the motor is connected to the fan for this system now the air starts to circulate but you will see the air is very warm you just circulate there you're not cooling there outside the 30 degrees you cannot bring fresh air so that's why i'm going to use the damper only 10 percent so i will open the damper 10 percent uh, i will bring 10 percent fresh air i will extract 10 percent i will circulate 90 percent of the air but the air is very hot so what am i going to do if everything works well and the dps tells the building management control we have enough air flow the BMS will start the chiller. The chiller starts, so the cooling agent starts to drop its temperature. It's getting cooler and cooler. When the cooling agent got get cold enough, the BMS will send uh, an input to the actuator to allow the cooling agent to reach the cooling heat exchanger because at the moment you see it's fully diverted. And now the actuators via the three-way valve will allow the cooling agent to go through the heat exchanger and will not divert it before and then uh, the supply air fan chamber will get very cooler obviously the fan will uh, take that air into the building through the um, uh, supply air duct so you see the supply air duct got very cooler the air goes into the store now inside the store the air start to get cooler and cooler until you reach the return air because at the moment the return air is still warm but now it senses that the air into the store is getting cooler and if you wait a couple of uh, minutes or hour it's up to how it is designed then the air in the store will reach its temperature it will become as cool as it's supposed to be when the temperature into the store reaches the right temperature the uh, building management control will send an input to the actuator to restrict the cooling agent to the heat exchanger because uh, it's pointless to run the chiller on maximum demand otherwise you will freeze the store if the temperature still drops because uh, the chiller is very strong um, the building management control might restrict the cooling agent to the heat exchanger 100% you will restrict it 100% and obviously the chiller um, won't have any demand and will uh, turn uh, itself off not to spend uh, energy without any reason or it can be standby they multiple ways to wire a chiller so then the air handling unit will only circulate the air through the store but still will lose 10 percent you will extract 10 percent of the air and it will bring inside 10 percent of the air why would you do that it will do that because you need the minimum fresh air to um, overcome the carbon dioxide issue there are a lot of people in the store then uh, in the end of the program the bms control will initiate the turning off protocol so just the way you start now you have to turn off so first things to do it is to um, turn off the chiller slowly slowly to turn off the actuator and uh, to send the signal to the inverter and uh, to stop uh, the fans so as you'll see now the inverter went off and then the fan went off and the system starts slowly to turn down uh, the dampers as well has been uh, turned off now they fully off 
and the BMS went to sleep until the second day when you have to start again the same protocol. So this video was uh, only uh, about the cooling and the ventilation. I will explain to you about heating, about relative humidity, about bringing the fresh air without starting the chiller if it's very cold outside in other episode. Uh, as far as I was um, concerned today, I just want to explain to you how the AHU is working and how the cooling process is working for this specific chiller, for this specific AHU, which uh, uses a chiller. Thank you very much.